Okay, the next step is to create some wedges of the city core location so we can try it out in different random places. The first step is going to be to take this part of the network here and collapse that into a Houdini digital asset. This will allow us to reference it directly into the uh, top network uh, and, and then assign wedge values to it. Wedging being uh, a technique where different values are explored and then you review the results and see which one you like. So we're going to accept that as a digital asset. Now the digital asset is basically a network you take in Houdini, you collapse it and you put the nodes inside. And then you can take certain parameters and promote them up. So we're going to do the image input and we're going to specifically do the scale. Um, we're only going to do one of them and then the other one will be referenced. So in case we want to do a bigger map later on and we'll call this uh, scale. And then the next thing we're going to do is the sphere location. So this is where the city core is. So that can be taken as the center. So we drag that center over and we're going to call that sphere center. So in the asset that will be there. And then the attribute transfer, we're going to take the blend width over. So in case we want to explore different blend widths uh, as we do this and we press accept. So this takes the network that we're working on, stores it on disk and we can reference that. So instead of bringing it in from the object level using the geometry import node, uh, we're going to put down a HDA processor node and we're going to reference that off disk. We're going to bring that in and that's going to be how we get the map. So we're going to go in and we're going to say use the upstream node for the city block geometry import instead of go to the SOP network. And then on the HDA processor, we're going to go and get the make uh, street grid maker and accept that. And then on this fourth tab, all the parameters we promoted up are there for us to work with. So this is just an alternative way of getting sort of the same thing. Instead of getting it from the object level, we're getting it from a digital asset on disk. And then we can add a wedge node up above and this will allow us to generate values that can be plugged into certain places on the digital asset to get it to do what we want. So we're going to we want four different a wedge count of four and we want a wedge attribute. Uh, we can have different kinds of attributes but we're going to do uh, one here called center underscore wedge. So that's going to be used uh, and it's going to be a float vector and it's going to specifically plug into we want random samples and we want it to go from minus 50 minus 50 and 50 50 or 0 and 50 and so that will give us a nice sort of range there to work with and we don't it doesn't matter what the fourth one is so this is of four values will get randomly spit out out of the wedge node and we can plug those into the digital asset. And we'll do that here. We're going to go at center underscore wedge dot zero. And then at center uh, underscore wedge dot one. And we didn't spell that right, but that one actually won't matter because we're not worried about that one right now. But you don't even have to, pl have to plug that one in because we're actually worried more about X and Z. So that should be center. If you're going to do it, center underscore wedge dot one. So then once we get that, uh, we'll if we go and we cook that, you'll see that we'll get four different maps. We'll turn off the original street grid and we'll just get these new ones. So there's one where the city core is there, one where it's there, one where it's there, and one where it's there. So we've created different alternative city cores that will feed into the system. And we're going to add something else in here because you can wedge more than things at the same time. And we're going to do a seed, seed wedge and this can be used uh, in the network as well. And that's going to be 
between 0 and 1,000 and its random samples. And you will be able to see where we plug that in into here. So we're going to take that down to attribute create and we're going to take that and we're going to multiply the index by the seed wet seed wedge and that will give us different values in there. So it just controls the randomization of that a little bit so we're not getting the same result in, in all three cases. So now we go to the HDA processor, and to get this to work, one of the things we need to do is we need to make sure the files being saved understand which wedge they come from. So there's a at a backtick at wedge num backtick dot, and that needs to go on all of the files we save because that's the only way that we're going to be able to distinguish which of these come from which comes from which system. So we're going to have to go down the chain here and sort of do this for a whole bunch of different um, there we go storage there so that's got to have it as well. We'll always put this after the index and The geometry output, there we go. So we're going to put it in there as well. Uh, there needs to be a dot in there. And just the geometry import, uh, that needs to have it as well. So dot, we forgot to put the dot there, so yeah, good, good. And that also will be the building merge. That will also get this, because there'll be four different city blocks now instead of just the one. So we've got to use the wedge number to help distinguish between the different versions. So that's important there as well. And so instead of wait for all, we're now going to use a partition by attribute. And so in order to make sure the four streams, the four city blocks go to where they need to go, uh, we're going to use wedge num as an attribute for partitioning the different streams of information coming down the, the network. So we save and we select this and we cook. It's going to go through. This will take a little longer because now we're not just doing one version of it. We're now doing four different versions of it. And now you'll see building merge actually has four different options. So there's four different cities coming out the other end of this solution. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And you control this using the wedge value up at the top feeding through that digital asset and that will create the results that we need. And there's the cities we've created.